Hi, I'm futurist Thomas Fry. Since I do many talks on the future of agriculture, I was recently interviewed by the Feed Info News Service as part of their 20th anniversary edition. In this interview, they asked me to help them think through the cultured meat industry and what that would look like 20 years in the future. To give you some background on this emerging industry, a 1998 U.S. patent filed by John F. Vine laid claim to the production of tissue-engineered meat for human consumption, wherein muscle and fat cells would be grown in an integrated fashion to create food products such as beef, poultry, and fish. In 2008, PETA offered a $1 million prize to the first company to bring lab-grown chicken meat to consumers by 2012. In November 2009, scientists from Netherlands announced they had managed to grow meat in a laboratory using the cells from a live pig. In 2010, Google's co-founder, Sergey Brin's Family Foundation, reached out to Dr. Mark Post in the Netherlands in hopes of helping him support his research effort, and they encouraged him to have a huge media event where they taste-tested his cultured hamburger on BBC television in front of a live audience. In 2012, a total of 30 laboratories around the world were already conducting cultured meat research, and since then, hundreds more have entered the fray. My sense is that cultured meat will start out as a novelty and quickly make its way into a variety of new kinds of foods that currently don't exist. Meat chips, meat candies, meat desserts, etc. Rather than competing head-to-head -head with existing industry, there is a golden opportunity to open up new markets with unusual kinds of meats like wombat meat, penguin meat, or bumblebee meat. I invite you to check out my column on futuristspeaker.com titled, The Future of the Cultured Meat Industry in 2040. Thank you for listening.